Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Chip Brewster coming to you live from Tampa. I am at the Cito, which is a restaurant in West Shore, but I'm talking about Taco Fest, which is happening this Saturday at Al Lopez Park and includes additional vendors. It's not just Pasito. So we're going to show one of them off right now. And while we do, I'm going to talk to one of the organizers of Taco Fest. We're talking tacos with Tatiana here today. Tatiana. Hello, So Jeff. let's begin. This is only the second year of this festival, yep. which means that it doesn't have much of a history, but I would like you to at least share the story. How did this whole thing start? Well, Tampa Taco Festival started with three girlfriends sitting at their favorite restaurant, having margaritas, talking and eating tacos. That is now all of the best ideas in the world. Yeah, and happen. one of one of my partners said, which is one of my really good friends, said, you know what? Tampa needs a Tampa Taco Festival. <laughs> and we're like, you know what? You're right. Yeah. Let's reach out to the city. Let's let's see what we can cool. do. So last year was the first year. First How year did event. it go? It was amazing. We had over 30 taco vendors, over 75 vendors overall, live entertainment, mariachi, DJ, family-friendly event, uh, Pet friendly event. Oh, cool. Beautiful weather. And this year we're going to do it all over again, and bigger and better. I did hear, though, last year, it was the first year, so you just didn't know, but it was so know. popular. Yes. You had vendors running out of food, out of tacos, out of beer. And it, it, so for anybody that went to that inaugural Taco Fest, you have learned. We learned. Now we're doing it bigger and better okay. for everybody to come. Then how many vendors, how many taco things are you going to have out there? So we're going to have around 30 taco vendors. Okay. Uh, that's not including our frozen treats and desserts and all our non-food vendors okay. also. So just tacos. There's 30 Yes. And, and we're going to have tacos from all, all over the world. Okay. So we're going to have traditional Mexican tacos. We're going to have Greek tacos. We're going to have Japanese tacos, vegetarian tacos, nice. anything tacos. We're we're gonna have it at Tampa Taco Fest this Saturday. Awesome, including this gentleman's taco. So this is Eduardo Estrada of Tacos de Carne Estrada. And I noticed, Eduardo, on your truck, it said Taco Hibachi. That's what, right. What That's is right. Taco Hibachi? So I'm literally making history in Florida. Uh, they have taco trucks, but they don't have on-site cooking taqueros, which is Taco Hibachi. I go to you, cook in front of you, serve your guests unlimited tacos for two hours. That is really cool. So what yeah. are you serving up here today so for So today us? I have uh, carne asada on the griddle. I already have chicken and al pastor okay. in the uh, containers there. And then we have the vapor vaporadora right here, which is how they steam up tortillas oh, authentically nice. in Mexico. So we've got like 30 seconds. Maybe you could whip up, whip up a taco Absolutely. or two at that time. No pressure. No but worries But this is good practice all. too for the festival because That's you're going right. to have a line that just stretches for miles. And they're going to be like, where's our tacos, Eduardo? Sorry, I'm Only by God. Great. So there we so go. Here we go. We got the tortillas. Carne asada. We've got the meat. That's Coming right. in. What else do you put on your tacos? You put your own condiments right in front. Oh, Salad oh, bar. Well, that wasn't much there of a challenge at all. So the we just served the taco me. and you served the condiments. We I have love it. cebolla, cilantro, limones. My sauces are all signature recipe. Mild, hot, ridiculously burned <laughs> to make you learn hot. <laughs> I love that. Well, if you want to catch uh, Eduardo and make some of your own hibachi tacos, Taco Fest, this Saturday, kick it off at what time? 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Kick it off at 10 a.m. at Al Lopez Park. Al Lopez Park, 10 a.m.